ตาแนนฟอร์ทูเดย์สเอพิโซดอัมก็นัดดูอะเวอรี่โอลด์เรซิปีดัตซัมออฟอัสไม่อันเดอร์สแตนด์บัตมอสต์ออฟเดอะเบกินเนอร์สอัลท์เดอร์ไอส์ฮาวิงอะฮาร์ดไทม์ทูอันเดอร์สแตนด์ฮาวทูดูอิตดิสอิสเดอะฟอร์ซิกส์เมทอดบายเทสโซคาสุยาซูฟอร์เบกินเนอร์สและเคอมเพติเตอร์สอะไรก์เดอะฟอร์ซิกส์เมทอดอิสเป็นหนึ่งในเดอะฮาวทูดูอะไรก์เดอะฟอร์ซิกส์เมทอดอิสเป็นหนึ่งในเดอะฮาวทูดูอะไรก์ The Four Six Method is developed by Tetsukasuya during the World Brewers Cup um, during his time, and also the Four Six Method made him the very first Asian World Champion. So the name Four Six Method came from the way that you divide your um, water. So four to forty percent, and then six to sixty percent. So the forty percent of the water. Is divided again into two, so you have your first pour and the second pour. You, if you have less water on your first pour than the second pour, your coffee will come out sweet. And if you have more water on your first pour than the second pour, the coffee will come out bright. The sixty percent can be poured all at once, or you can divide it into two. And the most um, the most famous is you can divide it into three. One more thing to remember about the four six method is it uses the one is to fifteen ratio. I think we should start um, we should start doing the recipe so that you will understand better. I'm just gonna pre wet the paper. For today's coffee, we're gonna use a Stump Town Homestead. Yes, this is one of the. Coffees that Anna bought for me when she traveled recently. So this is the first time that we're gonna open it. Mmm. Okay. According to the um, according to the flavor notes on the packaging, it says here it's candied and milk chocolate. Wow. Okay, and we're gonna use the Easy Presso ZP6. We're just gonna weigh 20 grams. Okay, so for the grind size of the 4-6 method, um, Tetsu Kasuya said, since we are, um, since we are doing five pours, which is a lot, we have the, we have the tendency to over extract. So what do we do? So for the grind size, for the grind setting, we're gonna use a coarse um, grind setting. So for the Easy Presso ZP6, I am thinking we should do 6.5. Okay, 6.5, which is about 23 clicks on the Commandante. Okay. We have our um, coffee grounds ready. I'm just gonna place the server here. There. Um, the first part, which is the first and second pour, is that is your 40%. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do 40 ml for the first pour, so that we get a sweet cup. And then for the second pour, we're gonna do 80 ml, so that we can complete the 120 ml, which is 40%. We're gonna start. Right, so that's 40 ml. Okay, now for the second pour, we're gonna do 80 ml. So that we get to 120 ml. Our timing for each pour is separated by 45 seconds. And then for our second part, the 60%, I'm just gonna divide it into three equal parts. So that is 60, 60, and then 60. Okay, that's 180. At 215, we're gonna do another 60 ml. We're gonna do another 60 ml. Gonna shake the bed a little. The timing for each pour 
is 45 seconds apart. The reason why we use 20 grams is for us to be able to do the math easily. Okay, so with 20 grams, you multiply that to 15, you will come up with 300 ml. And then the 300 ml, you divide that into 5 because we're doing a total of 5 different pores, right? So you come up with 60 ml, right? So that is 20%. So for the first part, 20 and 20 is 120 ml. The 60% is 20, 20, and 20, which is 60, 60, 60, and you come up with 180. So you have 120 and 180, right? And then the 120, you just have to decide if you want it to be a sweet cup or if you want a bright cup. So if you want a sweet cup, you make the first pour less water and then the second pour more water or vice versa. If you reverse it, you get a brighter cup, right? Um, so we're gonna try this. Remember I did 40 ml for the first part, so this should be sweet. Mm. Wow. <laughs> The coffee is very clean. It's so clean that you will think that it's it has a very thin body, but it's not. The clean body is because of the Easy Presso ZP6, because the ZP6 produces little to no micro fines. Yeah, but the recipe, um, again, this the 4-6 method will not fail you. It's always it's always a good place to start. It's always a nice reset for competing brewers who are kind of burnt out with exploring a lot of different recipes. Um, you can always go back to this recipe. Um, for me, for me, this is the, I, well, for me, this is the master recipe, right? It, it will never fail you. Yeah, and for the beginners out there, um, remember my video about the two-pour method for beginners? The two-pour method is a good recipe to get you up on your feet. You, you, you get to practice um, your pouring technique, your handling. Um, you get to practice the way your, your circular pour and the, the gravity of the water, right? But if you want to start exploring new recipes if you want to start um, exploring tweaking your recipe what will happen if i do this what will happen if i do that the four six method is a good way to start tweaking your recipe because the 40 percent that i mentioned earlier just by changing the amount of water of the first pour and the second pour um, you will get a different kind of result. And then the, the 60%, that is a safe bet. You can do one pour, two pour, or three pour. It will only change the, it will only change the um, amount of extraction of the coffee, but not the flavor, right? So the 4-6 method, maybe you can try it. Maybe you should try it at home. For the beginners out there, um, if you are starting to get bored with the two pour method <laughs> you can start do um you can start playing with the four six method now do you agree huh. all right so for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye